Tapping in with KWJT Puget Sound from space. I'm over here with Corey, and you're tapping in with Tavares. Yes, sir. Oh. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> what the fuck? You used to make your own sound effects. Nah. <laughs> um, a very exciting uh, Saturday is upon us. Um, very quickly before I start the show, I just want to thank all our supporters for a very groovy January and mm. February. Mm. You guys have been showing us. Tremendous amounts of love, and we just appreciate you guys at home for just tapping in because you know all it takes is a view and maybe a like, share, or comment. Um, but mm. thank you and thank you for always being there for our journey. Um, it is now March, uh, and we have a motherfucking banger for you, yes, sir. Um, we want to start off March uh, with a bang, uh, so please um, welcome our new guests onto the show. Hi, me. <laughs> You're really getting good at this intro shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I be thinking you'd be penning them before you get here. <laughs> no, did he pen that? No. Um, <laughs> did you? No, I didn't. I think about it, though, during the week. Okay. I'm, I sit at home, and I'm like, you know what? What kind of energy am I going to bring to the podcast on Saturday? Um, and whenever we have a guest uh, this exciting, uh, it always turns me up. So, Well, thank you, guys. That's why we I'm got like a that. natural vibe because we, we've been able to work a little bit, so we, we definitely got good energy. Yes, sir. I think Welcome. that's really cool too because uh, we work together creative uh, creatively. Exactly. Um. Uh, oh. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Um. <laughs> he had the wood in his hand. He was <laughs> I'm trying to get my brother right. <laughs> I was about to bite the mic. Uh, uh, <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, we were able to work creatively. Um, before like actually like how other Seattle lights get to know each other, we like see each other at functions or like, yeah. um, we pass by each other like at markets and shit. <laughs> um, but we actually was uh, able to meet in a working space. We met on set. Yes, sir. I think the first time I officially met you was Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar? Yeah. yeah, that's the first time I met Jaime too. Yeah, facts. That um, I met a lot of people on that set and. That set was so massive and it traveled. That was a good production. Yeah, like good for like a run of show. Yeah, like we moved to location to location by group. That was a good fucking production. I think the whole team went crazy. Whole team went like, crazy. No like, one uh, pulled up custom jerseys. Days. Yeah, yeah. That like, that was the first time I watched. Uh, so one person brings so many clothes, and I was just like. In like a whirlwind of you, you like you got there, you had hella fits, and I was, and he just like got to work, just started styling people, and that was like I've seen it from like an industry standpoint from back uh, uh, BTS from like uh, runways yeah, and things like that, but just yeah. to see someone come in and just set a vibe and just become a part of the the video shoot and just really display their talents, it was kind of crazy. That's that's a, um that was one of the first times I was probably able to really display it like that. That's so that was a that was a good example for me even just to set down that day. That's why I could tell it was a certain way cuz everybody kept uh reacting to me a certain kind of way like these are all yours like this is this is all you and I'm just like, yeah, like I just brought all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um usually you know it's funny it's like when I first got started it was kind of um on the fly and it was like I packed a bag and I gave the bag to somebody I trusted and then they basically dressed the people mm -hmm. um <clears throat> but the set wasn't like that mm -hmm. this was the first time it was like big set I brought coat hangers and everything else like it was just like it felt good to kind of facilitate it like that after that I had like a whole mode like that was the best day I had did a shoot like it was funny the progression I got to that. Like getting clothes out of your house, like that many clothes out of your house is a problem. Yeah. It's it sucks. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Like I've fumbled bags, I've fumbled racks, and like you don't know how long it's taken me to get out of my house. Now I get out quick. That was that was just my best day. Yeah. <laughs> that was my best day. Um, so you spoke about uh styling. Um I've seen you model. Um, you probably creative direct a lot of shit I don't even know about. 
Yeah. Um, let's talk about all the hats that you wear and how you've, to me, how you've been able to be every part of the industry from in front of the camera, behind the camera, the person with the camera, and just how versatile you are as like a creative. Well, really, um, just being able to facilitate like that comes from just like where I started and then like where I've been able to get from where I started and just learning how um, being a, like a, a hand here opens up a door to trying this or that. Um, when we started, we started in the CD, me and my friend Rosami, like just being involved creatively, stopped playing sports when we got to high school and we were working out of the UPC, mm. which was a, mm. a renovated um, crack house that used to be right behind the post office on Union that's no longer there. Um, those were like the first things gone. <clears throat> mm. But we started there, and Waikin used to come through with stipends and just opportunities. Waikin Garrett? Waikin Garrett. That's uh, that's the man. That's the man. Uh, yeah. Continue. But he seen, <coughs> um, I can't remember how he, he found Sane, but they, they bumped into each other in a parking lot, and he just knew. Um, he know how to look. He could see the, you know, he could see it in the youth, and he tries to tap it, into mm. it you, you know? So he was like, hey, man, whatever you guys want to do, I have a space. And, you know, he knew what we needed. Yeah. Um, the space, you just had to respect the space and understand that, you know, they were kind of funding it themselves. He was trying to, you know what I mean, just respect the space, essentially. But we could go in there and create yeah. um, and set up events. And he used to pay us to put down events and, and learn how to communicate with people and do all this stuff. I used to do a lot of the back end. I used to do a lot of the back end because I used to feel like, um, that's where I should have been, you know? Mm -hmm. Shied away from the camera all my life. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Mm -hmm. To be completely honest. Shied away from it the entire time. Never wanted to really be the rapper. Never really wanted to, like, my first couple times. It's funny, like, now it's not, like, a thing, but, like, yeah. being on camera the first few times, like, it's laughable. I remember <laughs> cutting videos with Sam and laughing, like, nigga, like, why do you, you know? I remember <laughs> homies, like, why you act like you ain't the nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, you get all, you know? It's just like that's I've had to grow into this, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, it's I've come a long way for sure. That's um, so interesting. But that's how it started, man. Being able to wear multiple hats, we were setting up events. Then same was mixing the music that the homie was making. Then same picked up the camera. Then me and him were just helping making videos. And yeah. then would really whatever he was doing, I could see what we needed, and I'm there. For if I'm holding the light, I'm I'm already every hand on the set. It's just like me and him and the homies basically have always been that. Yeah. You're the rapper. Me and Sam not rapping, but we can make everything else happen. Exactly. And that's very important. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's been the, the approach to it. Just trying to make it happen. Yeah. The, uh, I learned that very early on as well, that you, like, uh, Tavares uh, is the perfect example for that. Like, <clears throat> when he was starting his music career, I never wanted to be, I never wanted to be his videographer. I never wanted to be any of the, like, the typical, like, uh, background guy in the in the video, like I hated all of that, but I I I always wanted to be there. I always wanted, so I started doing BTS. So I was, pulled out my phone and was just doing BTS uh, uh, camera work because I was just like every rapper has some sort of vlog or some montage of them creating whatever they're creating, and I was like, there's no one around doing it. So yeah, yeah. <clears throat> just filling that void that's really important, especially in a creative space. Uh, let's talk about these early shows that you were throwing um, to get your start. What was what 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 was the first show you threw? The first show um, that I remember throwing, I'm sure we threw a, a couple of them, but like the first one that I remember was <coughs> was um, same, me and same uh, set up bringing Nipsey here, mm. um, and the homie Mark Rogers had opened for him. That's who we basically were like managing. Me and same um, at the time, I wasn't really calling it that, but yeah. Um, same got to DJ for Nip. And that was, like, the first one that I really, really remember. And what's funny is, like, we had did so much stuff back in the day. <clears throat> and we were getting stipends for them. So whether they were successful or not, we got paid. That was kind of like how Joaquin knew what to do, you know? Joaquin mm -hmm. set it up so that we were just using our time. I should show a lot of love to Joaquin because um, him, men like him and Jay Moore are, like, the reason why I kind of approach everything and know how to approach things in a certain kind of way. You know what I mean? Like, they were matter of fact and – if you want to get something done, you have to reach out to people. You have to holler about this, and you know, yeah, like he told, taught, taught. That's amazing. Taught us how to look straight, like yeah. get to it. You know what I mean? Um, for sure. So Nipsey was the first show. I remember that was really big deal. We were super excited. He was like everybody says he was. He came through Numos with us, big chain. I just remember being 
smaller than him, and he was just wow. hella cool. What's up, little homie? We got to kick it in the green room with him. He was a regular motherfucker. Like, uh. he, he came in and blessed it and, and blew up the whole spot. And after that, he came back a thousand times. Um, we did Dom. Mm. Dom was the next one. We 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 booked who we listened to. Yeah, we wanted to do like the industry standard. You know, we were like, we're not going to these shows. Let's bring Nipsey here. Let's bring Dom here. That's fucking amazing. And we were like fifteen, sixteen. <sighs> and it's funny, it's like the homie Royce the Choice was just reminding me the other the other day. You know, I just did a bunch of content with Royce for his rollout that's coming out. And he's like, man, nigga, you don't remember? You did my first headline show. And I was just mm. like, that was your first headline show? <laughs> like, I didn't even know. He's like, yeah, you and Sam did my first headline show. Like, y'all did the Nipsey Dom shit. I had to come get you niggas. I'm like, y'all got to do my show. And I was like, damn, I didn't even know that was his first show. He yeah. was the big homie at the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, going back and forth from mm -hmm. L.A., doing <clears throat> shit that he's working with, coming back with Mustard Beats and shit. I didn't even know that, you know? But we were just so... We were, we were on to it early. We came in like we knew we wanted to get done as far as like we wanted to feel like we had the industry here. Mm -hmm. um, that's So that's basically what we've been trying to, you know, that's probably, it's the same vein yeah. right now. Like whatever I feel is kind of like lacking, I try to provide that. Even if I'm not the best at it, I know who to pull, you know what I mean, to, to make put it, it together. To put it happen, yeah. Damn, mm -hmm. that's, one, that's amazing. I've, uh, I've, it's funny to like, uh, interview because I've seen it in action so many times. So me, it's like uh, it's the norm. Like if you have, if I see you on set, I know like oh, it's gonna be a great day. Yeah, it's, it'll be easy. No matter what the challenge is, what we have to go up against, I know the moment I see Jaime's there, I'm like oh, they got they got all the all the prof all the homies are here, all the professionals are here. Everyone that's gonna like turn this into like pulling the most out of what we have, we have yeah. is here, that's and definitely it. I really vital that as a uh, one as a friend, but like as a creative, just being able to have you and pull your ideas from. <clears throat> How'd you get into uh, uh, shoe painting and like re re um, bringing shoes back to life? Um, just always being interested in my swag and shit like that. Like coming up <clears throat> when um, even when I was going through like certain different hard times, like I just remember all. A natural thing of mine to do was just to like fuck with my clothes. Like mm. for for a while, if I was going through some in certain periods of life in high school or whatever, I remember there would all my shit would come to scissors. Like I'm changing everything. If it came to summer and I wasn't up, everything went crop. Everything went like that. Mm. And I remember like from all my clean shit, there will be times where I knew how to do the like grunge, like you know the little swag. You know, yeah. I had ways of appropriating my shit. And so as I got older, just being into sneakers and buying <coughs> shoes. Um, man, you know, some shoes would get fucked up or I would just get bored with certain sneakers. I had like SBs and shit and like Jordan 4s. I, I was really out of Jordans by the time I got out of high school. I had to reappreciate the love for them. So my mom, my sister wanted some Jordan 4s. So I went to the mall, me and her, and I bought her the, uh, the Royal <clears throat> Jordan 4s. We I had just got off tour and um, so that was like my little bounce back gift. Bought her some 4s, yeah. but I really didn't like them. So... I had them for hell, and I was just like, man, if I'm not going to fuck with them, I might as well trick them out. These were clean-ass shoes that I just started. I fucked them up. Yeah. But um, I bought the airbrush machine and everything. I had the airbrush machine and shit for like a year and a half, too, before I um, before I even showed people that I was doing that. I learned how to be, like, um, like process-oriented, though. So mm. that's why I can kind of tip my hat at so many different things and take it in, because when I do that, I kind of, you know, I lean in on it. That doesn't mean I stop doing whatever. Yeah. But I, I like, you know, the time you used to probably pay video games. Yeah. There's a time period. Like if I want to start painting shoes, that video game time becomes that time. Mm -hmm. That might take like six months. Then out of nowhere, I know how to do that. Whenever yeah. I want to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So it take me a little bit of while. I fucked my fours up. I had these white and blue um, baby blue SB dunks that dropped. I turned them metallic. They weren't filthy, Ooh. but they were they were close. But I see I see where you were taking they them. They were though. white and blue, and I wanted to make them like Space Jam. I had them metallic, and I turned the blue check on one of them green, and the other check purple, Ooh. and the whole shoe was metallic. But they weren't pearlescent. They weren't bust down. I didn't do enough coats. Like, all the shit I know now, I didn't mm -hmm. really know then, and I fucked my gun up. Then I got to, um, <clears throat> like, around the time I had it for, like, two years, and I was like, man, I'm about to start busting shit down again. I got some brand-new Yeezys. Um, ETC, the homie from ETC, so many Yeezys, like, half off. So as soon as I got him, I painted him. <laughs> like, 
You know I, I got it for a deal, you know. Might as well make a mine. Might as well fuck with him. So yeah, and then after that, I watched a few videos, and that's how I got into the shoe painting, man. But um, it took me a few years. I bust down a few shoes that were fucked up, but like the last few products I come through with are super clean. I got some Ewings um, that I just painted for Bacari that I'm a, a drop soon. Ooh, um, ooh, yeah. I can't wait to see those. Yeah. But yeah, it took me a while, but I definitely leaned in on it. I love the. I just love to do it too. I don't even know what. It's not even. It might not even become anything. That's just something I I do. You know what I mean? That's fire. Yeah, some creative shit. Yeah, I'm gonna let you hop in. I've been asking hella questions. Oh no, <laughs> I, I think that was um beautiful to see. I always love love it when my brothers get to talking. So um I just want to interject with this. <clears throat> For so long, I have slept on a beautiful human being. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming over and fucking with us. Of course. I want to say, um, <laughs> I want to get it out the air because this be on my mind hella heavy. Like, bro, we're from the same town. Yes. I'm from the south side. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You're from the east side. Mm-hmm. And and look at us now and, and sitting in this room, having Absolutely. this conversation. I appreciate moments like these because... Whatever you grow up under, whatever, like, denomination or, or however le- a life may be, however far we may be, even though we're in the same city, um, I really appreciate you being here. Um, same. Mm. And I appreciate how, like, uh, it's just never come up. We we literally just have the maturity and we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it just hasn't come up. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a negative way, it's like we just have... We take each other in as people. Mm-hmm. I've uh, I paid attention to y'all's relationship. Like I appreciate that. Like you guys, you guys are good people. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like I said, that's why I was like, we have a natural vibe. We've been able to just we started off with work, even Facts. with all of that. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's it, we we show the good progress of the city though. Very you know true. What I mean? Very very. We, true. we need to put that in the light and and hold that to the standard of what like I take pride we want the youth you to be. On, uh, the rock star set style of South South for this. Mm-hmm. I'm happy you styled us. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like that's you fucking styled us. Like that made like that like that's the cool part of like for our website. You know, have, like, like our website drug. You know, like to have to have met you, been able to work with you, and to have been like, I guess the work. I guess it like it was it's such an amazing uh, feeling. So if you've never been styled behind me. It's an experience, and it's a very amazing experience because he comes in and kind of sets the tone. Whatever, because we were in here high, chilling, and the first thing Jaime did was like, "Hey, let me hop on the ox. Let me turn. I'm turning the music up. I'm choosing the music, and we gonna get dressed." Yeah, uh, like, and it, it just became, it became an event, and it was like it was so fulfilling for us because i've never been styled yeah um never experienced that yeah i've never life. yeah that was like our first that makes me feel so good yeah it makes me feel good because sometimes um man we i've showed i feel like we didn't have that place where people appreciated some of the little things mm. and i like when i um, i just got a gig recently i'm gonna be styling um moni soon for a project she's bringing a a, a dope concept <laughs> together it's gonna be bigger than music but um, she just was like, man, I appreciate the details and just, like, how you do this and that. And I'm just like, damn, like, people are paying attention to that shit. Um, so I feel like I've helped bring, like, you know, styling's been around forever. But yeah. as far as, like, in the creative scene and shit here, I feel like I've helped bring an appreciation to it. Facts. Um, and that makes me feel full because, like, that's just something I've, I've had appreciation for forever. Like, my mom just raised me like that. You know what I mean? Just not even, like. <clears throat> materialistically like I've had style and she just told me how to have style and mm-hmm. what is what cost and what don't cost but what is style you mm-hmm. know what I mean like so it's not just about superficial shit it's about just taste and yeah. appreciation and for feeling and you can't buy a style you know it, what I mean you know it doesn't matter what your outfit costs you could still look like shit it's like it doesn't like and if you weren't a fashionable funny, child man. I doubt you're a fashionable adult. Like, and, like that's like if you didn't have swag as a kid, or like your mom didn't have like you. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt you you're pulling it off today. It's you're buying stuff. it. Yeah, it's you're paying Jaime more than likely yeah. to to bring it to you to show you what the details that are important, and that's important. And I'm and I'm still learning too. I I still got stuff that I want to to do. I just like that. Um, 
being able to appro- approach stuff differently. Like the other day when I posted the Fahal stuff and then the homie posted uh, the 19th <coughs> and Spruce stuff, and I was just like, that's what I want to do. Mm. I feel like. Um, yeah, Real Be Free is going crazy with that 19th and Spruce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's lovely. That's one of my, I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of, I'm proud of bro and, and just the vision he has for that brand. Like he's doing his thing. Uh-uh. This thing. Um, what I was gonna say is I I was gonna uh, I'm announced that I, I I got signed recently. Um, I feel like yeah. let those ring. I've been waiting. We've been. <laughs> I know. I know. It's been sparkling. I know. Sparkling. Yeah. It's I bust down say, Johnny Dang. I, I gotta say, I feel like that. Um, leading into just the versatility, I feel like that part of the reason why, um, they made the decision mm. to work with me because um, he was like, no, I sent my, sent your gram to the team and and we all are on board, but they were first like. We'll get back to you next week, and then he email, emailed me right back. It's like actually, we're good. We'll, we'll, we'll work with you. That's amazing. So, um, I feel like sh- I made the point that I was trying to make mm. through my independent run. Somebody understood where I was getting at, you know. So, I'm excited for the future. Shit, fuck me too. That's a that. Um, I feel like that's amazing because I've been watching you talk it to an into existence, and for me, you perform at such a high level in like all aspects of what you do. So to see someone come along and go like, hey, we see what you're doing. We don't want to change what you're doing. We're just going to allow you to be able to do it in a different space and at a higher level. And that's a that's very, very amazing to me because I, I love just watching you work in, in the industry. That. I appreciate that. I was, um, I was trying to figure out if I was going to be able to find that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I didn't know if that was, you know, a thing. Like, you know, I think about a lot of stuff via like, how artists and music make things happen or maybe like real, um, not real artists, but just like painters or just, you know, mm-hmm. this is a different craft. And I'm just like, do I have say? So I feel like modeling is something I think about is usually put in a form. Yeah. So <clears throat> wasn't sure if I was going to be able to try to lean in and make something happen my yeah. way here. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited though. I think, I think it'll go amazing, but like in, uh, I think it'll go amazing. Cause one I've seen you model. We have a book where you're on the cover of it. I can't wait to have more of these books. Um, is there any brands or any people that <clears throat> you either hope to model for or hope to style with or just be in like be in that energy or anything like that? There's one brand that I'm uh that I can think of for sure. Excuse me. Oh, you're good, money. Um, I definitely want to work with Pierre Moss. Mm, Kirby. Uh, Kirby, I definitely do. I can see it happening. Um, there's a few. I would like to fuck with Aim Leon Dior. They, uh, they they do. I love their lookbooks. I would just like to even like model for them. Their their stuff is so clean. Um, yeah, there's a few, but those are the two that I could think of immediately that I could just be like, man, I would just like to be in the rooms around there. <clears throat> Damn, that would be amazing to <clears throat> to see you uh, to to see you eventually be on one of those teams will be amazing to watch and just be like my friend talk this into an existence you know another thing that i've i've watched him go this is what i want and hit it on the uh hit it on its head yeah i definitely want yeah i know exactly what i'm trying to do and i'm also trying to like um leave it leave a footprint here in a certain type of way i want you know we and you working on a bunch of different things as far as like production and stuff. Facts. I feel like we can um, just provide good content in general. Um, I've had a lot of good con- uh, conversations with you and just other people who are just opening up. Like sometimes, you know, we gotta you gotta help people find, you know, get to the point of like, you know, like the more we document, the more we show of what we do here. True. Mm-hmm. It the better. I've had people Facts. tell me that, and so now I'm just like, man, I'm telling everybody that I'm like, yo. Man. Just show and tell. Just show and tell. Loki, just show and tell. <laughs> show and tell and work with everybody you think is cool. It's cool. And we are <laughs> gonna have some fly shit happen here. Like that's that's really the goal. So definitely. <clears throat> Can I get a little big? Oh. Uh, which one would you like? I like the uh the orange joint. You have one right next to you. Uh, that's good, man. You, you Can I have some water please? That would be amazing. You want some water towards? Uh, yes, please. Um, hi, please tell me, uh, all the new artists you have been listening to because you, uh, 
are the one of the few m- m- men of music yes. that I would like to say. You are very dynamic with your uh, choices of songs from the time I've met you, and I, I basically love the category. So I want to know what influenced it. And um, um, my mom and like how I was raised is also very heavy on like my just range of music. Um, I would like to say that I like y'all's music taste too. Ooh. Y'all, y'all be getting me <laughs> on some just different shit, and y'all play people <clears throat> like y'all, y'all be putting me on a lot of people here who have great music. So, um, I like that. But uh, right now, who I'm listening to, I love Key, Fat Man Key. Uh, uh, everything he puts out, I'm just tuned into. The, he's like the, the versatility is just crazy, and it's just so fun. Like you turn on some Key music, it's just so fun, bro. <laughs> like that shit. You, you just can't, you can't, get, you get everything. He's going to talk some shit. He's going to say something witty. And he's going to say something hilarious. And it's all going to feel good. Yeah. Like, that's what I love about Key. Um, listening to MTM, uh, Money to Make. That's the homies from here. Mm. Um, I love their energy. I actually want to work with them. I was about to hit them. I was like, I want to I want to help uh, work with them on a video or something. Some of their production. I want to work style with them. Um, they just dropped a song called Get Blown. That is fire. Uh, I seen that shit. It was on Thizzler. It was on Thizzler. I was loving yeah. it. I was loving it. I was looking at the comments and everything, and I was just like, "Man, I'm mm-hmm. about to. I gotta style the hoes. <laughs> I style the hoes because they're not taking this in the right way. This music's too fire." Yeah, but yeah, I love MTM. Uh, who I listen to lately? Oh my god, I found my favorite Detroit rapper. Ooh, ooh, it's Los. Like Babyface Ray is killing it, but Los and Nutty are these dudes from New Orleans. Um. They're from Detroit by way of New Orleans. Yeah. <clears throat> the sound Close. is just blended. They got all this, like, Master P, like, no limit, yeah. like, feeling to it. But they're talking about, like, the Detroit trap shit. That's mm-hmm. fire. It's hilarious. Talking on that beat. Oh, uh, I was straight. It's just that all they do is talk dope, but it's mm. hilarious. It's so fun. I love that shit. I love that. Now you got, you got, you put me onto an artist. I got to go tap in with after this. It's uncanny That's amazing. how, um, the, the West Coast and Detroit is so synonymous. I know. Like, we're, they click with <laughs> us out here. Like, the, a lot of this, um, Shred Gang comes out here. Like, they I feel like we're into all the same here. fun shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they're kind of, like, they get, a, they get hella overcast. We get hella overcast. So, I feel like we yeah. find the same amount of fun. They just get way more snow than we do. So, I feel like we deal with, like, the Their moody weather. more severe than ours. Yeah. They get they're the Midwest version of what we deal with, but I just I just feel like we we experience the, a lot of the same things. So we have, I guess we we are entertained the same way. Like Seattle, a lot of Seattle people like jokes. We're as like as much as our our rap scene is um, not very, <clears throat> uh, I would say uh, comicy. Uh, we do find <laughs> shit funny and we do joke a lot as people. <laughs> Um, and I feel like Detroit rappers display a lot of more humor in their music than we do, and we really gravitate to that. And the beats are kind of the same uh, as far as That's what we vibe to. About that. I never thought about it like that. We don't have a, um, or maybe we don't have a lot of uh, um, like humor in our our, our scene. Nah, yeah. there's not there's not much funny. There's not a many funny rappers that'll hit you with like a funny punchline. Funny punchline, no, nah. It's no, not. Actually. Nah, we but we got vi- like we're that's we're a very vibey city. I mm-hmm. feel like we're like our spring and our. Do you need this? Uh, yes, please. Our spring and our 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 summer music is like year round. We're either making some nice. really moody things or we're in the vibrance of life. Yeah, um, yeah. So I I feel like we don't really find the time to be. Like Kikian, like we're we're dealing either we're with so real, serious, yeah, we're dealing with real we're so shit, serious. or we're, so we're enjoying serious. the exactly. summer. <laughs> we're so serious, and then we get we get like two and a half months of summer, and it's popping, and, <laughs> and we go, yeah, 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 yeah. we go we, crazy. Uh, we yeah, have dude. to, that we have to bay. enjoy Flexing this, you know, summer, for sure. That is hella bay music. And, we're, and, and yeah, we got that influence. We do have that influence because I I just feel like uh, Seattle is one of those cities that we're very accepting to so much and. Yeah. We're, like, we go places. Like, we, we're very well-traveled as a city. Like, we'll pop up to L.A. We'll, there's probably people that are consistently in Detroit. Man, I know a lot of people go to I New go, York. I bump into somebody from Seattle. Exactly. Like, the homies do, too. Out of the country. Like, yeah. we're and, and that's the cool thing about saying, like, 
there's a certain person that can be like, oh, I'm from Washington, and you're like, uh, and then they'll tell you some real Washington shit, and you're like, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. you, you you know the rain, you know the rain. <laughs> I was over there on Union. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's how they be. <laughs> Wait, um, that was that was that's fun to think about. Um, now I'm gonna be listening to it. I'm gonna be like, who's funny in the city that rap? <laughs> I value it. I swear I value it. And I realize I value it. It's I a good love feeling. Key because he's hilarious. Los and Nutty, they're talking about serious shit. Mm-hmm. I be on the floor. <laughs> it is too funny the way they're talking about it. It's first off, let Los Los has an ad lib. They both have an ad lib that is continuous. So throughout the song, once you start listening to them. You could catch the timing. You could have never heard a song any time ever before, but you know when it's about to happen. <laughs> and that's what I became a fan. The ad lib is yeah. pussy ass niggas ain't got no love for him. It's long as hell. It happens random times throughout the song. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> I swear to God, I will, put you on, I will play a song for you guys after this and you guys are good. You, you're not going to be able to stop. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're the uh, best stylist in the Pacific Northwest. I appreciate that. Um, Ooh. You made your statement. Um, and I, I think of a question. I believe you're uh, uh, here to stay. So I think the people should know. I appreciate that. Um, you guys should definitely know that uh, this is a curator that made their stamp. So Who's, uh, <clears throat> Whose style in the town do you respect? Because I know as a stylist... And uh, a person that is really from, like, I, I know someone who can dress, and I know someone who is trying to learn how to dress. Like, who who has earned Jaime's, like, ooh, like, I like the way you put together fits. Um, I respect a lot of different people's swag for different reasons. Um, but if I could be particular, I like, um, um, Cheyenne has always been someone who has dope swag. Um, uh, Tyra has dope swag. Um, uh, eight, eight. Alan Danilo, his swag mm. is just different. Um, Rayvon, I've always Ooh. loved Rayvon swag. Um, I'm trying to think of the handle one. I'm missing somebody. Yeah, those are some people who I think about off top. Like, yeah, just forever. Um, and then there's like. Um, Sean be doing his thing. I'm going to give a few shout outs to some homies I see stepping, like Michaela Roper. She be doing her thing. Ooh. You know what? Rama is insane. Do you know mm, Rama? No. Privacy Bling. Her swag is crazy. Ooh, she, she, was from New York. she was in the North Face commercial that I put. Ah, uh, yes. Her style's crazy. That, she does a damn swag. Swag. Not a, I'm not, I'm just. People are wondering the North Face commercial is playing in my head. That's why it took me a little long. Cheyenne and Ed Robbie in the North Face commercial. Uh, oh, you both filthy. Great segue. Uh, tell us about producing. Uh, did you produce on it or were you? Uh, wh- I, I like what help, was the role? The role I helped source like all the clothing. Mm. Uh, I helped put together. I sourced the vehicles. I had the cars that we had, the drop tops. Damn. Uh, you know, I just helped a lot the the people. I yeah. scouted the people. I sourced and styled. Just helped all the, the pieces that came together. They came to me with the treatment. It was like, yo, we want to do this. And like, well, they gave me more than a few days, but I had anxiety, so I didn't start working on it till <laughs> the day and a half. <laughs> That's the truth. I had like a week and a half to do that, I think. And I like two days, I was like, all right, I need to get all these North faces. I do. <laughs> That's right amazing. <laughs> That's what's funny about it. Cause I almost was like, for to be like, man, we're not about to make this happen. And then I just was like, all right, I actually could do this. Pulled all the jackets together, got the people together, and we spent 15 hours making that happen. Damn. That's amazing. Uh, damn, in two days, too. Hit the tail, bought all these jackets, bought like 12 jackets, used four. Shit like that. You know what I said? Damn. <laughs> the mind of a creative. I know. Just like, I don't want to, I don't want to have not enough. And I know 
I know what will work for what this like what this will look uh, like what it'll look like, but maybe I'll give them too many options so like we yeah, can get something done. Yeah, to get it done, I had to make sure everybody felt good. You know, that's amazing. Damn. Um. So the jeeps and like all the like. Damn. That's. I'm. A, I'm giving this. this let, we just want to let this round of applause hold on for a quick. That's fucking amazing. If you haven't seen the North Face commercial, out the guys, though, shout out. You know, Josh Hebbett, just. <coughs> oh. Justin, uh, okay, Louis. Just because Louis was working on the set, yeah. just shout out all those guys. They pulled me in, and we made a couple <laughs> dope projects. And they're gonna continue to make movies. I'm. They've empowered me to start really going in on the production this year. So yeah, definitely shout out the guys who brought me on that project and allowed me to kill it because they basically allowed me to kill it. And, yeah. I, and then I just slammed it. You know. You know. That's amazing. That. Uh Given uh, you given free range is like it's it's limitless because yeah. you you would have thought that had North Face like co signed it and found all of you guys and was just like okay this is what we're looking for do it and in your city and to know that it was a bunch of locals who like came up with the idea and you went and to fucking hit that out just of the park is am- yeah. amazing and they they all. And people from North Face thought it was official. I have relationships from that today that that sustain and and that's to amazing. other things like I, um, that it was dope like that. They definitely they definitely appreciated it and it created lanes and relationships that um are allowing me to flourish today. So, fucking shout out to that. Yeah, I'm, sure. we're letting the another ring off. You gotta let him ring off because that's sure. that's fucking amazing. No one like that's a really hard. Feet just as a creative and to deli- like deliver how how you did is just it's amazing it it should inspire people it should allow people to dream bigger because this is someone in your city that achieved something that <clears throat> you would have thought was in LA and had all of these like big big production big behind production it. behind yeah, it no, and it just came through with a camera you know and it's and it's limitless to what you could do from being from this state so if you ever needed more inspiration you should just follow jaime and just absorb some game because no nah, for sure and and the people that, that i work with yeah because like um just being able to be a part of that inspired me so much bro like yeah man i'm trying to i see people um in position like i'm in as far as like wanting to be what um like you said a curator just appreciating style and swag um but they're everywhere else, you know, I want to start trying to, you know, like influencers, but just even just like being here, I hope to be something like that for, 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 for the town. And <clears throat> there are other people who are influential here who can also get the same, the same love, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just hope to inspire that. I want to be one of the people here getting boxes. Um, I've been independent dealing with brands and stuff like that. Like I want, you know, more people to be inspired and, and, and to know that we, we have the power to, to, to reach people. So, uh, absolutely. It's important. To, um, <clears throat> it's, inc- it's important to put the work in and let people know that you actually do this on various levels so that you can get the recognition that you demand. Cause you demand the kind of recognition that I know you will get this year and the rest of your life. So, yeah, but it, Besides, like, you know, just even the recognition, I just want to be, like, mm. empowered, you know what I mean? Mm. Not, like, in power, but I just want to know that I can do things, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's really that's really how, that's, that's what it makes me feel full, you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. being in position to, to do shit. That's really just, I know shit's going to come. I know things are going to come. Yeah. I just want to know that, um, but I'm trying to, tie up like the things and make them more official as far as like how I'm creating things. Um, but besides that, I just want to know that I could do what I want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, there's so much that we could do. I feel inspired by so much. Um, and I feel like back, uh, when I was younger, people tried to tell you to try to like, you know, corner things and box things in, but that's just never been, that's just never been me for, for, uh, how I want to facilitate. And, and sometimes, <clears throat> Certain things are just too limiting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just not a thing for me. That's why, like, um, I got into, like, tech work because I figured um, there's just certain ways that you could wiggle, especially with, like, working from home and stuff like that. I just yeah. need certain certain ways that to facilitate I can't. And if you are 
uh, headstrong about certain shit, the world will bend for you. You feel me? That's what I learned. Like you got to figure mm. it out. Like you, if you if you hold out, you know what I'm saying. Should should have worked for you. You know what I'm saying. You just got to be about that. So, yeah, there's yeah. a there's a gem for the you know we. <laughs> 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 that's why I love like I I truly love talking to Jaime because Jaime has done done so many like cool things, inspiring things, um, and he does it his way, and it's very organic the way he works and mm-hmm. <clears throat> the way he thinks and the way he shares and to like for for everyone watching, uh, this is a real treat because Jaime to me is a very special individual that we will as a community watch outgrow this town to a point of just <clears throat> being a celebrity. Um, and like he, he won't ever celebrity you, but like <laughs> it'll be hella dope to like see kids be like, sign this and like, no, that would be wild. That would it, be wild. It's good. Like to me, the, when is like, when it happens, I'm just going to like, I'm just going to take the picture and be like, fuck, like that's dope. We had this conversation and now I mean, creative directs or produces or stop like that. Like know, something like that. There's yeah. so many, there's so many, so many hats you wear and there's so many cool things that I, you currently do and I see you doing. So it's really just amazing to sit here and talk to you and just pick your brain on things. Um, I appreciate that. You have a really cool jacket collection. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about some of these like pieces or yeah, just how how you curate that uh, that jacket collection or just how you curate uh, items that you add to your personal style. <clears throat> so personally, just like from I think about just coming up, like we we always had like the North Face jackets, and then I think about like jackets that I grew up having. I always had like Tommies and and nice little bubble Nauticas and everything like that, Ooh. and so like. We're in Washington. We're big on all the coats. I just wanted to have, excuse me, per like when I started getting into like having multiple variations, the goal was just to like be able to outfit any type of weather situation and mm. still be comfortable. Um, so like, you know, I got all the little workwear jackets because the homies started putting hell of them out. And the Red Zone ETC collabs, I just feel like those ones were so special. I had to like, get everyone that came out specifically those ones yeah when 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 the red zone etc collab happens you just got to get that shit um facts <clears throat> and that's kind of what kind of put the bug in me for those <clears throat> then um i started doing the for hall stuff and they have crazy jackets too um i'm just really into having variation my mom has just kind of instilled that in me like just having style just having different type of jackets so i got Big coats, little coats. And then, honestly, um, Tyra, my girl, is into having hella different coats, too. Now that I think about it, she she had so many different jackets. And then that kind of got me into it, too. Because, like, before I even got into, like, having all my shit, she had, like, fur jackets, leather jackets. Like, Fire. you know, she just had different coats. Yeah. And then I th- kind of, like, me and her kind of really... Um, we, me, like, it's like, I'm not even competing with the homies with the swag now that I'm really thinking about it. It's like me and her competing with swag. <laughs> That's just hella funny. It's hella funny because now I'm thinking about it. It's like, it's like, damn, you got all the shoes. And she, yeah. and I remember the season, she's like, damn, you got hella shoes. And I'm just like, <laughs> so like, we kind of be going back and forth with it like that. Like, we competing with the swag. She had hella jackets. Now we have hella jackets. <laughs> um, but I started getting into, Mirakami and shit and every now and <clears throat> really it's like the the reaction you get from shit you know mm. the reaction you get I started finding little pieces and like the shit that I thought was standing out people would would take to and and, and like really give me the, the reaction from certain shit so then that's what would start to fuel me finding different kind of coats and just not having shit that other niggas is having besides what the homies put out, because that's yeah. just what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Like, we all going to have that shit. Facts. But besides that, you know, I got this anorak from over here, this Murakami bubble, this puffer nautica bubble, like um, the all over uh, camo print long coat, just different shit like that. I, I'm in the prints. I'm in the prints. Yeah. So I want to get, like, different prints and shit. I just know how I like to imagine, like, my, my pictures and 
things against things. So I, I go for, um, you know, some things that are, are kind of striking, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. Right. That was kind of long. No, 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 I, I was just, I was, uh, just taken back. That was an amazing way to break down styling yourself. There's, and there's just so many levels to the inspiration yeah. for that. He's definitely some of the inspiration, and then just um, I would, to be completely honest, just the reaction I get from shit. People talk to me about everything that that I put on now. But yeah. Like it's grown from that. Like, oh damn, that what is that? What is that? What is that? Nobody knows what the fall shit is. Like I'm. Pretty sure you gotta know now. I'll be making these know that shit because I just appreciate how they do what they do. Yeah, in the lane that they do it, and I think a lot of their clothes are better than a lot of the brands that people are wearing out here. So, <laughs> shout out to the homies. <laughs> Speaking of one of the homies, uh, how did you get connected with For Good Services? I see, um, see, bro, really putting on. I got connected with bro. Somebody, somebody reached out to me. It was just like my friend who, who you know, just on some style shit. You know, yeah. people would be putting me on too. I'd be lying if I like, you know, people mm-hmm. would be putting me on. Yeah, <clears throat> it's like community effort. It, it's a community effort. Um, yo, my partner does this cool, <clears throat> whatever the fuck, and you know, they know how I get down. So if it's dope, I, I embrace it. You know, a certain type of way. Yeah. Um, and then we just click just like that, and then he immediately had an idea for something and. I took to some of the clothes. I bought a few things, and then we end up like linking and doing that lookbook, that styling lookbook. And me and him really click because he just sees the bigger vision and shit. Like we got together, and he's like, "I want to do this and make content and do all the extra shit." Like I'm with all the extra shit. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? You want to style it? You want to do this? We got to bring him in. We got to have this camera. We got. I'm with doing the extra shit. Yeah. And I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why we kind of, you know, Clicked. start clicking. Yeah. Um. So. That's kind of like how that became natural because he's like, I want to make shit and then make some shit from the shit, sell the shit, but then record us all doing the shit. And I'm like, that's, that's what I want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, have some fun with it, but as well as produce some dope shit. Um, and we made the first project happen seamless. The video came out pretty clean. Like, it was just all easy. And yeah. I was just like, damn. So that's where, you know, it's kind of like how when we linked up and we, we had that day styling, like we banged that out after meeting on a project and then it was just like, damn, now we having all these different conversations in Facts. between. So, yeah, yeah you're, he's you're, a cool dude. Yeah, uh, he's a cool dude. Uh, I have two, I have three pairs of pants by him, so, that I, that I fuck with heavily. Um, uh, you also work on a lot of Mafia D projects. Can we talk about that friendship or yeah, man. that that really cool relationship? Uh yeah, Mafia. <laughs> we go back so far. Mafia's like one of the first friends I got when I um like moved to the CD. Like I moved to like 19th and Madison and like that's a down right down the street from Meany Middle School and that's where I met Derek and he was already like he's Derek. Everybody in the neighborhood knows Derek. Um, he was a fucking nut, man. But he was he was hella cool. He was so he was so funny. Um, and we grew up, and then our fan our our people know each other, so we kind of like you know got really close. Yeah. Um, so we consider each other family. So that's amazing. We just grew up through all the knucklehead <coughs> stages, through middle school, high school, whatever. Just you know, really close. So that's amazing. <clears throat> when I'm involved in music and he's rapping, um, I was just like, man, I think if we can. I could help you and you could help me. I want to be involved in the music shit. And I mm-hmm. think I got a, a vision that could help you with, with, with um, you putting it together. Yeah. And so that's where we're at with it. That's amazing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I think my favorite um, one is when you did with him and Spaz. Spaz. Yeah. Yeah. That one, um, that one, him and, him and Spaz, uh, that record I love so much. That song is so good to me. Like that song is so good to me. We got, we got movies to make with Mafia, so. Expect to expect some good stuff to be coming out soon. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so you, I, I, not go. God, you already. I don't want to derail you. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask. Uh, is it is it cool that like um, the relationships you gain through being a stylist, you've basically uh, grown like an underground catalog of all like Seattle gems, like. Whoever's popping, whoever's filthy, they want to f- they want to fuck with you. So like you kind of have like 
a library of unreleased music from Seattle. <laughs> and like, you just know, you've heard it. Heard it yeah. Like you were there at the shoots. Like right. now I like, I definitely have hella, um, a catalog of music just from even shoots, like some stuff that don't even happen. Like, Hey, can we come through here? Do this, that mm -hmm. like, I definitely got a, a catalog of music. I get put on to a lot of music and it's fun being, it's fun meeting people in this space. Cause I don't, not a lot of people are coming through as the stylist, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's fun me meeting people as the stylist. Like, it's it's just a little different than coming through as uh, the homie who works with, with the homie on music or whatever, whatever. It's like, it's an interesting space. Uh, people appreciate it, though. Yeah. People appreciate it. So, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Is uh, living in the gray area, like, uh, a, f a fun place to be for you? Just, like... Being like being so needed, but like not necessarily needing to be the front runner as far as like the artist, you can do so many other things. But like you're you're to me, you should be the most demanded person in the town. Like if there is something that can afford you, they they should be on the phone with you. And that's just my humble opinion. Like because it you goes. Sound, you <laughs> sound like you sound like um you sound like Royce. Cause it it's true. Like if they could have, like if I could keep you every day, bro, I'm gonna have you. You so know, you gotta tell me that. <laughs> if if I same with me, if I could afford to just like kick it and pick your brain on things, cause like just the I just, just being around you and just the talks that we've had on all the sets that we've worked on and just uh, even at the shop, just being able to just have an idea and the way you're able to just break it down and see what demographic it'll, demographic it'll work with or how you see, like, nah, it won't relate to them because they stopped fucking with this or just, just how in tuned you are, it's kind of amazing. I don't even think I had a point. I just wanted to no. celebrate that. <clears throat> I, um, that's how I approach things. It's funny because people, people point that out, like, well, as soon as I get around shit or if I hear some shit, I'm like, man, we could, we could do something because I'm like, the only thing that's separating us from doing it is, is is not doing it, man. And I this is the stuff that, that I take in. And that's how we started everything. Like, we, I'm getting older and we're listening to these guys. We're not going to these shows. Let's put these shows on. I'm tuning into this shit on the fashion shit. I'm seeing these guys with YouTube and, and, and people getting acclaimed for their area and whatever, whatever. But we got that. We got that. Facts. So that's all I'm trying to just, like, I'm trying to live and I'm trying to every I'm trying to turn every space into a Jaime space. Mm. And if you know what I'm saying, and that's just like not a too much of a me thing. It's just really just like a fruit. Like you know, let's make. I want to live. Uh, what do they say? Create the world you live in. That's what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people yeah. complain about the Seattle shit and leaving and all that other stuff. I think you gotta leave. I plan on leaving and doing a whole bunch of stuff. But I facilitate so much through here that it's not going nowhere. Like. Facts. I'm coming back. I'm creating. I know where the content it could be made. I know where flash it's happening at. You know, and people are not fucking with the t with the town. So it's just like, um, just trying to amplify it the best way I can. I be reaching out to everybody, trying to get some work in. Like, yo, we could do some dope shit. It's it'll. I feel like the outside. This I I was uh, I felt this way about 2020, but the world ended. But 2021, <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I feel like this is as far as Seattle. Seattle will become a mecca uh, as far as like creatively. We already are as far as like individual talent and area talents, but I feel like across the board, people will like, start walking across those bridges and just creating beautiful things. No, I'm glad you said that because like I wanted to uh, bring a conversation to. Like, Ooh. life, uh, as far as, like, I feel like we are killing it in streetwear. Yes. Like, you know, um, sometimes I'm I'm not sure. Well, the music is, 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 is dope. It's just that nobody kind of, like, has a grasp on it. People are, right. are kind of popping from everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. everywhere. You feel me? Every, everywhere. So, everywhere. So it's not like it's not. It's just I don't, you don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. So, but I'm like, streetwear is, is, is fucking it up. It's it. We got some sauce here. I know. And we got some nice spot. Like, we have actual storefronts. So there's actual amazing and, and brick more, and mortars. And, and more homies are, are 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 thinking about bringing spots to life. Like, watch what happens this I know. year, bro. 
I I know. Go vintage. I watched it. I wanted to tweet it, but I can't tweet it without making people feel funny. It's like Coover's doing their thing over in the Tri Cities. I think that's where they're based. Yeah. Um. You know, etc. At Tacoma. Facts. Red Zone. Like we got so much shit. Like that's, that's and that's they doing going. a lot of dope shit. I'm proud of the street. I'm pr- I'm proud of the the fashion scene we got going on. Uh, the streetwear scene. Um, the music is dope. Man. Ever been homies is making commercials and short films and shit. No, now. E- I'm e- just e- like, <laughs> we need more of that. That's what I'm we saying. We need yeah. to be like, shooting the movies. Thank you. That's I'm what waiting. I'm saying. Like actors, actors, come act. Come on. You don't need that's know how to saying. act. Just you follow don't. direction. Don't be an asshole for Let's, that. Literally, amount of time. it's a script. <laughs> Read the script <laughs> and just script. follow direction. Like, <laughs> we will make the best low budget films ever no. and, and and go. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, we got it. We could do a circuit. I'm dying to do a movie circuit. That's I. So there's this uh, thing on Netflix where a bunch of directors talk about their first movie that broke, and Spike Lee was like, "Oh, I spent 20 bands, but I took this one movie around the country and I grossed like 1.5 million, something like that." And I'm just like, "What is this? Uh, it's some, it's a movie on Netflix. It's a documentary on Netflix about directors." Um, Explaining their first big break and like how much money they were given and how much money it turned into. And it's usually like some, it's as low as like five grand to like 25 grand. Or something like that. Not, but these are most, they're mostly black directors. So it's like 10 to 25,000 was their first real budget that they had to pull together by, you know, asking a a bunch of to make a film. Like Spike Lee talks about his first movie costing like twenty bands and it grossed like you know two three million and I'm just like if I can hit if I could get twenty bands to produce one thing and just take that bitch around the country that's a you know that's a cool little ticket you come back shoot something with half the money half you made money, yeah. go back around the country we do a we could we do a couple sun dances and we make this bitch work like motherfuckers make <laughs> fucking that's movies that's about washington quit. they're always here but there's yeah. no real washington movie bro, like it, i'm bro, exactly. don't steal my idea because i'll fuck you up <laughs> um unless you could fight and now nah, we jumping them <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but like or h- come hop on the wave. You know, if you could write scripts or something, like nah, come join the team, join the team. Come on, <laughs> come get that ticket with us. That's all I'm saying. It's not like movies are to me. Movies are something very hard to mess up with the right people. If you put a bunch of creatives, which Seattle has a fuck ton of creatives, we right. can have a whole I, scored have movie. You seen any of a uh, uh, any. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything like that, that was a film from here, like made by anybody? No. Alan, Den- my partner Alan Danilo, Danilo, and a few of his friends made a film. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys. I, I, I'm gonna share with you guys. I can't remember the name, but I'll find it. And we all went to watch it on a, at Cap Hill um, at the little movie theater that may be there or maybe not be there, but it was like on 12th mm-hmm. in between the police station. Yeah. And they they streamed it there. It was fire. They had like an event. That shit was tight. So I'm like. You know that was like before the pandemic. The film yeah. That was that was that was before the pandemic. But they had some shit going. They they was making short films and shit. Well, come on board. We I got hella movie ideas. I got hella niggas that'll come volunteer their time. We gonna we, we gonna make a film, check, and we bro. got the cast, bro. You know how all the video, all the sets we be on. I know. <sighs> Yeah, I know we, we got a cast I can, for a film. Th- I man. know. I'm just saying, like all I need, like all I need is a decent script. Script, yeah. Because just imagine the places that we could feature the amount of people. Like we could go all the places that you name locally as storefronts. Streets? We could shoot a movie. Like there's we could hella places a, in. We could shoot a movie and yeah, wow. Movie coming soon. We don't know the name, title, or whatever, you know, but it's coming soon. It's coming. That's. 2020, 20, 20, it might be end of 2021 because yeah. we're going to shoot it through the through the heat. Yeah. Through the summer. Yeah. Whoa. Coming soon. If you need an acting job, uh, email somebody. The um, are you you going to filter through those emails? Yeah, filter, filter through. All right. The Tavares is casting. Tavares is casting. It's Solana. Jaime gets final say because, you know. Always. No, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go through. We'll go through the process. Sure. We'll let you know how it works out. <laughs> I might get you can be mad at me. It wasn't Jaime. It was Corey who said no. You didn't <laughs> you just we couldn't find it in the budget just for you. No, um definitely wanna we gonna we're gonna make a we're gonna make movies, man. Facts. 
I'm looking forward to um, working in the, uh, getting more content for the shop going. Those guys um, at R4 are going to be having a lot of cool shit just about to in, ask in, in the spot. What soon. the shop was. <laughs> the shop is R4. The shop is R4. We can plug the R4. Yeah. Shop. R4 is, is an amazing is it a is an amazing thing that I hope everyone gets to experience in this town because what what it what it is is culture to me already, but what it will stand for for Seattle it'll it'll be legacy if you if you could if you go to this space and just talk to the people that run it shout out to Tobe uh, shout out to Malcolm shout out to Lamar uh, shout out to Wax. Uh, if someone else is involved, I I probably haven't met you, but shout out to you. <laughs> no, I think that's, that's the team. Uh, uh, but they're creating something special. Yeah, they're, they're working on some dope shit. Uh, so I hope ev- I hope everyone that is a creative gets to experience it, or you definitely just see us pop up uh, creating over there too. Sometimes yes. too, so it's gonna yeah. be special, and it's about to be warm. So it I was just, about to say, yeah, oh. the energy's about to change. Like right now, even like. The energy's changing as we sit in here, and the, and, the, and the beam of sun comes through every now and then. Come on, we're getting there. It's gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful summer. Please, please be creative this year, guys. If yeah. You, Hell yeah! You know, if you're watching, share, share your creativity in this space. I feel like the city has been charged, though. <clears throat> They're ready. Shit, shit just keeps happening. Like, <sighs> people keep dropping. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Like that's what I'm talking. Kai about. just dropped one of the. Uh, one of the most an- p- anticipated tapes of the year, uh, Highway Kai. Highway's tape is fire. I know. It's I huge. know. It's it's to me. It's a, one of those like really cool things to be like, oh, he's from, Man, he's I from feel- here, and he like you know, it's funny. make a great. Mark Rogers is his big brother. That's the dude who we used to start. That's who we started with. That was my damn. Home. His that's his big brother. So Lil Bro came through. Is going crazy now. I'm just like Jesus. He used to produce when we were. Uh, we were young niggas. He was coming up being a young producer. That's fire. I think he might have made a beat on, on on that on his. No, show. I hear. Uh, I uh, so what I've heard is Highway usually produces is uh, most of his own music. Okay. So that's why I was like, he's doing a tape with Justin. So it was like, I was very excited to see what he was coming out with. Like, yeah. it's really dope to so, see someone. I, I got a song in my head right now. Like, what's your joint? I don't know I like, enough. I like. I just. I like, I'm gonna I like. be honest. This is my first. This is my first experience. Like I've. I've heard. And I've heard of Kai prior to this. Okay. Um. So Cash First was my first exposure. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm just gonna be Do like yeah. a, a cheat fan and be like that's that's my favorite. But I need to really deep dive. Like as a Seattle artist, I just to see someone get the exposure and get the claim i have to do my due diligence and actually tap in i'm not even gonna be fake and be like oh i've been a fan since before i don't know none of the names of the songs before the album that i like i just mm-hmm. played them saved them on soundcloud and mm-hmm. i just download his music i love having my way with it on the album though mm. having my way with it having my way with it <laughs> that's just fire <laughs> Bro, yeah, sure. he's just doing his own thing. No, that's what I love. I love this. I love this. For me, he he moves with a very town aura. He's on his. I know. He's it's, on it's, his a, shit. it's beautiful. That's why I want to use any platform to shout out people that are who are killing it. Who are killing it. That's I what I'm saying. You don't. Them. I wasn't even thinking about him when I was thinking about the town shit because he's so out of the fucking world. You know, he just happens to be born he's, here. He's going crazy. Um. Man, the music and the music's just fun here. That's what you know. Music is in an interesting place in general, but I love that I just played when. That's why I'm like, who is that? You're like, oh, that's the homie. That's the homie. <laughs> damn, you know that happens all the time hanging with y'all. So I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Like that shit's tight. This that shit's tight. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. I know I be calling niggas out though. I'm like, I want to style these niggas. I want to work with y'all. I be I be hollering at people. So that's, it's, it's, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. Fuck yeah. Uh, you want to take us out of here? Man, I, I, I kind of you, you like, don't. Because <laughs> I, love, I love just having the greatest conversations every week. Um, How's it been? You, you guys have been killing it. And, uh, and, and we top it every week, honestly. 
<laughs> this is such an experience. Shout out to KWJT. You've uh, been grooving hold with this. To answer your question, <laughs> it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been to to be in this uh, to interview creatives like and not just musicians, uh, just people in the industry that we respect and inspire us, and we get to. Uh, I don't even know if we get to expose them to a new fan base, but we get to just add to the community of people that can tell their stories and be very like, this is who I am. It's important. You know, story tell. It's important. I feel like they're, you got to understand, like, you know, you guys, you know what you're doing. It's important. No. And it's and the way people have a platform to just tell them their story. Like, I don't, we never, we never get into anything that is, um, salacious like Mm -hmm. we we're always down to talk about whoever the person is as they're creative and whatever they're creative at or whatever they do for a passion and just celebrate them as people because like seattle has a very um non-celebrated culture at times and if they can come here and sit in the chair and be cozy and smoke weed or not smoke weed and just be in a place where we're just here to celebrate and just I like that you put it like that because it's like when we talk about what we do it for and everything else and like where I'm like, oh, we could do dope shit and just, you know, uh, you had said it's we have a a non-celebrated culture to a certain degree, but it's very important to, to show and tell because that kind of takes that out of place. Like yeah. we got so much stuff going on that if we could just take up, you know, like we, we do, you know, I. I'm heavy on the YouTube, you podcast, like, you know, I'm listening to all this shit and I'm like, man, we have so much stuff that's dope. Yeah. That we could put in the atmosphere. Yeah, we've done, tw- uh, I think you're our 23rd or 24th interview of just amazing people in the industry killing. It, like, to me, it's like, we often have time to like, will we ever leave Seattle? Cause there's so, there's so many, will we ever leave Washington? Just because there's so many people here that I feel like stories either don't get told they don't have a place to tell their stories or they're doing so many cool shit. There's just like, oh, I really don't have time to like teach people what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just doing it. This yeah. is just me. So I feel like we've implemented a way for people to stop and be like, get their flowers and just reflect on all the cool shit they've done. Cause most people don't, they just do. And they're like, especially when you're creative, you're just like, I'm on to the next creation. I just, I'm filling a void. So like we allow space to people like to sit and reflect and be like, Oh shit. Like, I've done a bunch of cool, like, shit, and I, it, it should be celebrated, especially celebrated. in the town. Totally. Yeah. Definitely. So I guess now you can take us out because, you know, I'm oh, sorry. Wait. Be looking forward to this year. I'm going to be dropping a brand. Ooh. I'm going to be um, Ooh. I'm gonna be wrapping up a lot more content. And um, so, yeah, just, just be on the lookout for some more action. That's all I wanted to plug in. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is too much game for you guys at home. I don't know if you're going to be ready for this one. Um, It's been a lovely Saturday. You've been grooving with the South. This is KWJT. We got Corey, Jaime, and Solana. Gang, gang. Gang, gang.